This tutorial will take you through the process of saving your Microsoft Excel formatted budget form as a PDF for inclusion with your grant application materials. So one of the reasons that um, we want you to save documents as PDFs before you upload your materials to the submittable system is so that the documents can't be altered by accident. So um, that's why we prefer PDFs. But there have been some problems in saving Microsoft Excel files as PDFs. Sometimes the files are blank when we receive them. And so I'm going to show you um, how to save your Microsoft Excel document as a PDF um, and retain all of the information that you put into the original form. I am working on a Mac, but I am also going to show you screenshots for Windows machines. So if you're working on a Windows machine, don't panic. So we are looking at my completed budget form. Um, this is the four project budget form. And you can see that I've saved it with my name. And so you would save yours with your organization's name or your individual name, depending on which program you're applying for. And you can see that I've put in how much cash um, how much I'm, re I'm asking for from the Arts Council, how much I'm putting in, you know, and you ha may have lots of other fields filled in here, and that my budget balances. And I have saved, whoops, I don't know why there's a 150 in in-kind there, but I didn't want that there. So now I've saved this, I'm going to save it again, just to be sure that it's saved properly. And I have saved this to my desktop, which is where I like to save things um, when I am working on them. And so this is saved as a Microsoft Excel file, and now I am going to save it as a PDF. And so I'm going to jump right now to preview and this is uh, what the Windows dialog will look like when you are getting ready to save your document. And so you have gone to the file menu, you have put in your um, information, uh, you've gone to save, you've saved the document. And so that's what this will look like on a Windows machine. Coming back to the Mac, we're going to go back to the file menu and you could, you know, this is where I've saved the document. Now, normally what we would do to create a PDF, and I do this in Microsoft Word all the time without any problem, is I go to the Save As dialog and I save it that way. But we are going to use the Print dialog for Microsoft Excel. And so here I'm going to the Print dialog on a Mac. When I go back here, this is what the print dialog looks like on a Windows machine. And so you will see on a Windows machine that you get a variety of printers to choose from here. Whatever your default printer is, is what's going to show up first. And you're going to click this little arrow on a Windows machine, and you're going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF. On a Windows machine, that's what you're going to do. On a Mac, you're going to go down to the lower left hand corner of this print dialog and choose PDF, click the arrow, and click Save as PDF. And then the dialog box will ask you where you want to save it. And I already saved one here, so I'm just going to name this something else, and I'm going to click Save. And this will work the same way on a Windows machine. Once you choose Microsoft Print to PDF, you're going to click Print, and then a dialog box will come up, and it will ask you where you want to save the document. And at that point, on a Windows machine um, and, and on a Mac, you can rename it if you want to. So you've got those options. So once you have saved your document, then you want to look at it to make sure that everything that you had in your original budget is present in the PDF. So on a Mac, you're going to go to your Finder so that you can find your document. On a Windows machine, you're going to go to the little file icon, um, which you can see right down here, um, right down here in this black bar right at the bottom of this image. And, um, and so you're just going to double check. You're, I'm going to open my budget 
and you can see that all of the information that I included in my original budget is here as a PDF. So that's how to do this. Please let us know if you have questions. We look forward to seeing your budget forms in PDF format. Thanks.